Today I am drawing in this mini drawing lesson a nose, a dog nose of a French bully. So have fun with watching and drawing. So I have here prepared a little sheet of pastel matte paper in color brown. Um, first I'm starting here with drawing the outline. So I'm mapping in here with the black pit pastel pencil here a little bit of the black so let's sketch here freehand the outline so here are the nose holes i'm trying to sketch in here always ease of this line in the center so we make a little sketch here We are drawing here all those um, lines and yes, let's draw here the outline with the black. This is about two centimeters along this nose here and yes, about uh, yes two centimeters, two and a half I would say here. The bullies here are often have those wrinkles and yes, uh, a French bully nose is uh, a little bit special to draw. It's a little bit different. The nose holes are uh, most times narrow, not so big as other dogs have. Hello to everyone who is watching. If you have questions, feel free to write them in the comments. You can draw with me or watch this little drawing lesson here. Okay, then let's um, let's sketch in here some of those little wrinkles here. A French bully often has here so very small wrinkles. We can then uh, map in here a little bit of black as a shadow here below this wrinkle on the nose so it's only a short drawing tutorial here today uh, we will draw this little dog nose in about 10 minutes uh, or 15 minutes we will see then let's map in a little bit of the black in the hole in the nose holes here so let's map in here black pastel pigment the same here in the right hole and then let's blend it together with the paper stamps so I'm blending here this first base layer with the paper stamp pushing the pigment into the paper so that all the the color of the, the teeth of the paper are here are those um, every area where the paper is shining through will disappear so it should be a smooth black area here and uh, the other hole I will um, do with I think a middle gray so so let's use a middle gray here it's the bit 273 just Plotting in here a little bit of a first base layer with the middle gray. So, uh, hello to everyone who is watching. Feel free to write in the comments who is watching, where are you from, and if you have questions, ask me anything you want to know. You can also draw along with me if you want, you can share your results with me I'm always happy to see what you are drawing then let's um, blend this first layer again I do this in here with the paper stamp when uh, the size is so small like this one I use the paper stamp other uh, when I'm blending bigger areas I use my finger 
for this too. So now I have created here the first base layer. Then, um, yes, let's uh, add another layer. Let's apply a little bit of blue. I using, I'm using here the <coughs> pastel pig pencils from Pip. Here I use the 140. It's a blue, a middle blue. So uh, a portrait looks more interesting when you are um, bringing in different colors. So don't draw your dog, no, dog nose only with grays and blacks or white. Bring in some colors. Here, for example, a little bit of blue. There are always light refle reflections to see on your subject, on your animal you are drawing and yes. Hello Cecile, nice that you are watching, welcome. You write the video stops every five seconds. Mm. Uh, perhaps it's um, something with your internet connection. I hope uh, the others see the video correct. So I see it on my screen on my screen here. Correct. Hope um, perhaps can ask somebody right if you see it uh, in a normal condition. So please write in the comments if uh, your video also stops every five seconds. That would be bad. I'm drawing in here some little wrinkles. So I'm starting now to, to draw details. So let's bring in here some wrinkles. Let's draw along this line in the center here. And let's draw in some wrinkles. Here I'm mm, sketching in some of those little details on the nose. I'm using here first a dark blue, the dark indigo. Later I will go over it again with black. So I'm bringing in here a little bit of the dark blue, of the dark indigo blue. And blend this a little bit so I push the pigment into the paper. When I'm drawing details, when I'm starting drawing details, I try um, to push the pigments into the paper, I most times I avoid um, smearing over it or blending the layers by smearing. I push the pigments into the paper because I try to avoid that everything is smudging. Here uh, on the edges, I I swipe here over and blend it together, but here where I would create structure and details, I only push the pigments into the paper. Then let's add some lighter color. So I'm going in with a light gray here and I start to draw some very small cells here, so little stains you can see on the dog's nose little cells so I'm trying to draw here some dots and little strokes here between the wrinkles and here on the on the upper part of the nose here drawing in some of those cells creating cell structure you don't you um, don't have the possibility to draw lots of details in this size but you can bring in some dots and stains and create here a little bit of this cell structure and here are the little wrinkles let's bring in here some highlights between the wrinkles and here below the nose holes let's draw in with the light gray those highlights here we can map in a little bit of the light gray the sun or the light is coming from the left side here so let's uh, plot in here some lighter colors if you have questions write them in the comments feel free to ask me something 
So then let's uh, work with black. I will darken here the nose holes again, <coughs> drawing over the nose holes here. And um, make them a little bit more black. Also here. And then let's go over the middle line and let's add here more black for those wrinkles. We can also map in here below the nose a little bit of the black. Create here more shadow and more. Uh, I want to increase the contrast and bring in here more more darker parts so that we have more contrast here in the nose and uh, then let's add some very small thin lines i should uh, sharpen uh, the black a little bit for those very thin lines so use a very sharp pastel pencil and Yes, let's draw in those little wrinkles and lines around the cells. So let's draw in here very, very thin, fine lines around those little stains we have created before. And here we can add some lines and wrinkles here. The same here too. Also here let's add some black lines for the wrinkles. Um, yes and so on. Then let's um, let's add some some highlights. So let's add some light gray dots here in the middle, in the in the center of the nose here. So let's bring in some light reflections. I will blend this here a little bit together. Also the shadows here around the nose. Blend this a little bit. Then I would um, bring in a little bit of uh, dark blue here. I want to um, darken down here this uh, area of the nose a little bit more, the same here. Le I'm going over it with very low pressure, so I'm using very little pressure here and bringing a little bit of the dark indigo here. Blend it together a little bit, so I want to have this nose a little bit darker. Sometimes I decide to darken it down a little bit when the whole nose is too, too light. Here we can bring in a little bit of the black and darken those edges here around. Okay, work a little bit with light blue too. Bring in here a, a layer of light blue. Blend this a little bit and I'm going in again with black here. And then let's add again some fine details because I applied another layer of dark indigo. I'm going again in here with the black and add here 
more black and more black black parts of those wrinkles here it can be darker too So this shadow area here can be darker, so we have to add another layer of black here. Okay, then let's go in again with light gray and let's let's draw in here some of those fine lines, fine wrinkle highlights again. the same here let's add some more of those little cells bring in here some little strokes and set all those little lines and highlights of those wrinkles here it can be a little bit lighter. You can also bring in a little bit of a skin color here. So um, that looks interesting. The combination of the pinky, orange and the blue. Okay, then let's... Um, map in here a little bit of gray here we have this um the skin wrinkle here above the nose and let's yes let's map in a little bit of the fur around the nose so that the nose is not flying here around on the paper let's map in a little bit of fur around it Let's blend it together a little bit here. Blend it and let's fade it out a little bit here into the background paper. Also here, I'm trying to create here so uh, faded transitions. Okay, then let's work a little bit on um, on this this uh, fur or skin wrinkles those uh, French bullies have so here I'm working with very fine strokes and I'm trying here to to create those very uh, fine hairs those very small hairs those dogs have here bring in very very fine thin strokes the same here below so let's map in some of those very fine thin lines and here and the same here too Then let's bring in a little bit of sorry of the light gray or use a little bit of white. So I'm using here the light gray a little bit. And let's draw in here some very so very very fine thin white or light gray hairs. You can also use light blue. the same here
okay and so on you can work on the fur around the nose we can we can blend this black shadow a little bit here so try to create here transitions out of the the shadow part here so it should not be a black line it should be here we can push this black pastel pigment here into this this skin wrinkle here and and try to to blend it a little bit and to create smoother transitions and here let's create a little here some more transitions blend it a little bit okay so I will stop here with this uh, live drawing hour here today so um, I hope you have enjoyed watching and I hope it's helpful for, for you and some of you can draw it too. Uh, I see you next Thursday here in my happy drawing time for a next mini tutorial, a mini drawing lesson and wish you a nice day and have fun with drawing. Um, if you are interested in more of those mini tutorials, perhaps you are interested in my advent calendar. I've created a free advent calendar for this year. You will get 24 mini drawing lessons like this one, a little bit sh shorter perhaps, and some interesting drawing tips. If you want to join, uh, you will find the link below then in the comments. So feel free. To join if you would like. There are also um, great prizes to win every Sunday in Advent. Uh, I have a giveaway where uh, you can win prizes. So if you're interested and if you would like, then you can join below. Otherwise, I wish you lots of fun with your drawings and um, yes, enjoy it. And I wish you a nice evening or a nice night or a nice day. <laughs> if you are watching from another part on the world, so I wish you all the best and have fun with your drawings. See you next Thursday in my happy drawing time. Bye.